My name's Ralph Spetch, and I have AML leukemia. And how I found out that I got this, I woke up one morning and I had this sore on my leg, and I thought it was a spider bite, and it never did heal. He just started, uh, he'd lost 10 pounds, which is very unusual, and he was tired all the time. And I am one that I don't like to go to doctors and stuff like that. I'm kind of stubborn, but my wife insisted that I go. When I was first diagnosed with this, I, I thought it couldn't happen to me. It could not happen to me because I'm 76 years old, and this don't happen to old people. But it did, and I was scared. It was like a, the world had just stopped, and, and I didn't know what we were going to do or how what would happen? Acute myeloid leukemia is primarily a disease of elderly. The median age uh, of diagnosis is around 70, 72 years. And these are the patients, these older patients, they have really, really limited therapeutic options. I've been working with Mr. Speck for last one year or so. So when people have acute myeloid leukemia at that age, the overall survival, the long-term survival is pretty dismal. So we're talking about five to 10 percent survival at best long term with the standard of care therapy. And this is where this particular trial fits an unmet need. Simul and Kessel trial, what it uses is that it uses patients relative natural killer cells except they are trained overnight to become more effective in killing leukemia cells. What this particular trial is doing for him is hopefully preventing this disease from coming back. We have really a unique program here where we have very large uh, uh, leukemia, heme malignancies, and stem cell transplant program, probably over 30 physicians and physician scientists. Um, and they, everyone does a mixture of clinical investigation or basic science investigation. We all participate in the care of patients with hematologic malignancies and transplant. So in many programs, the Leukemia doctors are completely separate from the myeloma doctors, are completely separate from the transplant doctors. And each group operates as independent units. Here, we think that the, the strength of this program is that the science and clinical training and skills of someone interested in acute leukemia or myeloma or lymphoma uh, are very similar to someone who would be highly skilled at doing stem cell transplant and allergenic transplant. So we've pulled all of these skills together in one big group and everyone uh, interacts together as a group, which I think is a tremendous strength because it not only enhances our ability to offer novel therapies to patients, but it also enhances our ability to do, to do good cutting edge science. Research is a, um, really the, at the heart of what we do, uh, whether it be uh, basic research in the laboratory uh, to clinical trials and then um, in, in spanning that, that gap on what we call translational research or bringing um, research from the bench to the bedside, the laboratory bench to the, to actually the patient's bedside. Uh, this research program is important because uh, we're developing a new immune therapy approach to uh, help treat blood cancer patients. And we do that by harnessing natural killer cells. We utilize uh, or collect immune cells from donors that are related to the patient. We then purify the NK cells uh, and activate them in a GMP biological therapy uh, core laboratory just overnight. And then we uh, will wash away those signals, those cytokines, and then infuse the cells into the patient. So far, we've had some promising clinical results. Now, for example, in the last cohort of the trial, where we're using the highest dose of natural killer cells, four to five patients that we were able to test responses for had a complete remission. In uh, Ralph's case, uh, what we have seen is that not only is his disease not come back so far, but also his normal healthy marrow cells have grown back and producing normal healthy blood cells, including uh, leukocytes or white cells, uh, white cells, as well as the right blood cells and platelets, and that makes him feel better. So he's more or less back to his baseline and is enjoying his life. He's got me feeling a lot better. Uh because I was worried, uh, you know, I figured two years and that's it, you're gone. But now he's got me more or less convinced that, it, that I'm gonna make it. 
and I'm gonna live a normal life. And I might live another 20 years, who knows? But uh, the man upstairs will decide that. Dr. Romy has helped me feel better every day. Our ultimate goal in all that we do is to improve patient outcomes. Uh, whether it's providing cutting edge care to patients today or translating scientific insights um, into better cutting edge therapies that become the standard of care tomorrow.